The interactions module is mainly used uh, to create a sur uh, contact, sorry, contact. And this can be of different type. We have general contact, surface to surface contact, uh, self contact, um, and we will now learn how to um, pick the corresponding um, partners within a contact uh, problem. And so let's get started. Yeah, um, interactions part, we double click on it. And um, in this case, uh, <laughs> it's not very useful because there's not much contact going on. So again, I want to create a second instance uh, just to show you what's going on. We translate it. Uh, as in the previous example, upwards, so it's now hovering above, and now we can talk about um, interactions. Um, the interactions are defined per step, so always make sure that you um, check the corresponding step. If you have more than one step, then and create the interaction in, let's say, your second out of three steps, then it will be um, uh, also still valid in the third step unless you change this. So Abacus does not change anything from one step to the other uh, unless uh, you explicitly uh, tell it to do so. So we will create the interaction in our first step, let's say the, the forming step. And now we have uh, different options. Uh, for example, we can um, use the surface to surface contact, which is my uh, personal favorite because here you have the full control um, over what you're doing. So surface to surface means you um, pair two surfaces and these two surfaces know about each other, but nothing else. And a body consists of a lot of surfaces. Those surfaces you do not include in a surface to surface contact will be able to penetrate each other. Um, Self-contact can be interested uh, can be of interest if you do a lot of sheet folding, but let's take a look at surface to surface contact, which is the most important thing in uh, metal forming analysis, I would say. So if we continue, it asks us two things: um, master surface uh, definition. Yes, it's a surface, not a node region. I most of the time I recommend to use surface regions and uh, then the slave surface. We will talk about this in the uh, contact course in more detail. Uh, but for now, uh, I wanted to point out that uh, you have a couple of options uh, to choose from. and But usually the default options are uh, quite sufficient, they are very robust and give you very good results. However, you still need to specify how the interaction should behave. And uh, as pointed out before, we'll talk about this in much more detail in the interaction and contact tutorial. But for now, I want to point out that every interaction need an interaction property. So Abacus can now kinematically pair these two surfaces, but the physical behavior between the two is defined using the interaction property. So example, a classical contact should include um, tangential behavior and normal behavior. And for example, the tangential behavior can be penalty. And if you give like 0.1, this is the friction coefficient. Um, normal behavior, hard contact, uh, just for now this is sufficient. We'll talk about this in more detail in the contact tutorial. Okay, yeah, now it uh, also highlights the surfaces which are part of uh, this contact. It's quite useful to keep an overview on the current status of your model development. Okay.